Well, they did it again. ChatGPT has changed the game. That's right, baby. ChatGPT search. I'm supposed to be sitting over here enjoying the Dodgers winning the World Series, checking out the new branded merch, but instead I gotta make a video here on a Friday night talking about this new ChatGPT feature that I know everybody's gonna be asking me about, so I gotta drop some initial opinions and show you what the heck this is all about. In case you're new to the channel, uh, we normally talk about local SEO here, and so way back, whenever this was, five months ago, we were covering Google I.O.'s uh, announcements where they talked about AI overviews coming out. And one of the big things that I noticed is that the AI overviews didn't take over for local search. You still get the map pack, you still get the organic results. Hey look, there's Dencan Designs, sick. So I wasn't worried about AI overviews taking over local SEO. And the fact of the matter is, is that even though there's like 80 billion, what's the right number? Shoot, maybe it's even more, but ChatGPT is still just a drop in the bucket, probably single digit percentage points chipping away at Google's market share for daily uses. However, if you've used ChatGPT up to this point, you know it was like kind of cumbersome to get like a live search and blah, blah, blah. Um, so now I'm just wondering like, what's it like? Are more people going to use it on a daily basis? So I'm not gonna do what every other video does where they read the description, but just know that this is only for pro users. Um, and they're showing some examples. You can use it for weather, you can use it for stocks, you can use it for sports, you can use it for news, you can use it for maps. Mmm, that sounds like local SEO, right? I mean, as a Dodgers fan, I can do something like, uh, you know, um, recap the Yankees' demise in game five. And, you know, no context, it should be able to figure that out, uh, just like it always does. And sure enough, it talks about, like, you know, Aaron Judge misplaying a line drive, et cetera, et cetera. Good job, ChatGPT. You did your job with data from something that just happened um, two days ago. And so that's great. Uh, there's other things you could use it for. For instance, the new MacBook just came out. And one thing that I'm noticing that's cool, so I say compare M4 to M3, because the M4 just came out a couple days ago. It does that. I say make a table, and I don't. I don't mention what I just said. That was the thing that like the old version of AI overviews, if you guys remember using the SGE, the search generative experience, you could ask follow-up questions to Google's AI search and it, would it, it wouldn't remember what you were talking about. ChatGPT is so good at remembering the context. And so it's like, yes, that's the exact table I just wanted to see. That just saved me from looking at an article. That's interesting, right? But if I want to dig a little bit deeper, I click on the sources tab. And this is kind of like, you know, looking back at the links that tie to it. And obviously, this is going to be the goal of national SEO people. But what about local SEO? Go back to my series, How to Rank, or what was it? How to Steal. Uh, that's not how it was. Steal my local SEO strategy. I started off by trying to rank myself higher. I started off in like the 30s, actually made myself lose ranking for a little bit, but eventually ended up with the number one organic result. Hey, look, there we are again. Isn't that great? Um, and I kind of did it without knowing if I was going to do it. And so I was curious what happens if I search for a very natural language way of looking for SEO providers in Bend, Oregon, which is where I'm located. And of course, it's going to search the web. It's going to give us some results. And let's see what this looks like. Oh, look, it's given us a map. And this is kind of interesting. You kind of have to uh, swipe to go through the results. And I'll tell you, like, right now, like, some of these show up, like, in the map pack. Like, you, trigger will show up eventually. Height shows up eventually. But, like, Zoe, uh only shows up on a different search engine. I'm, I don't really know if I've seen Lead Digital until I've started doing this research. You can also click on this list here um, and it gives you some right here. Uh, if we keep going, if we say like, you know, give me some more, let's see if we show up. So I'm also seeing results from like uh, Upwork and things like that. Uh, so it looks like it's continuing down its search now. So, okay, so now we have Ben Can Designs, that's great. And there we are. So now we're showing up first on Show Me More but we didn't show up in the initial search results, so I don't like that. So let's do a couple other searches just to see what this looks like. Um, I wanna compare side by side for service-based businesses because that's usually who's mostly considered with local SEO, or I should say mostly is concerned with local SEO. Okay, sorry for the jarring shift between light mode and dark mode, I don't know what's happening there. So incognito search, we got the local service ads at the top, we got the map pack, remember this, Linnaeus, Sierra James, Neil Kelly, 
then we got Better Business Bureau, Ben Craftsman, House. They're probably not gonna show us listicles like House and Better Business Bureau. Okay, now I'm curious, what happens if I search in ChatGPT like people search in Google? Because it's probably gonna take them a while to unlearn those tactics. We know we're probably gonna add more words to our searches over time, but in the early days, this is probably what people are going to search, right? Uh, and notice after you click that sources tab, it kind of stays up here for a while. So that's kind of interesting. So uh, what's interesting is that we did actually get like for citations, we got Better Business Bureau and House first, and then we got House, uh, and that's a different brand, Kirby. They didn't show up. Uh, ben Craftsman, that was in the top list, RNH. Um, and so that's funny that it's actually giving us some hints on how to actually get a good general contractor down here. So that's interesting. But when we look at the results, we actually get Damien Daniels Construction, Ben Craftsman Company. I don't think that was in the map pack, right? Kirby, that's a big company. CS, Sierra James, I think was third in the map pack, right? And then Griffin Construction. Let's go back to our results. Yeah, we only saw one out of the three Mac pack results and we did end up seeing this guy. So what's going on here? Mm, I don't have all the answers yet, but I tell you what, I'm gonna figure it out because we see CS construction here and we see it here and back on Google, we see it mm, here. That was about 10th or 11th. ChatGPT and Google are enemies. It makes sense that ChatGPT wouldn't be using the same algorithm as Google. But what works for Google probably will help us rank for ChatGPT. But there's probably different tactics that we need to take because ChatGPT has a different friend than Google in the search engine space. And so this has me on a new idea. All right, that's why I wanted to release this quicker video for our normal ones. Obviously, subscribe to the channel, go check out our other local SEO videos if you're interested in trying to rank your small business that serves local customers in your area to get local clients. But in the meantime, I have a little side quest. Remember where we were ranking for SEO Bend Oregon and ChatGPT? The spoiler alert is that we're not. You don't see then can designs there at all. So I wanna to try to change that. So I'm gonna make a couple videos where I'm gonna make some changes and I'm gonna let you follow along and I can't guarantee any results just like with the last video to steal my local SEO strategy, but hey, last time we were able to rank first in the organic results. So let's just see what happens. So I encourage you to subscribe, like this video if it intrigued you or if you learned something new about the new ChatGPT search feature. And uh, why don't you check out this video right here where we start off our 30 day local SEO playbook in case you haven't checked that out yet. But in the meantime, I'll catch you in the next video where we're trying to get you to rank no matter what the search engine is.